some expected unfortunate recruiting news we'll get to first before we talk football with OU out of the Big 12 race. So Colton Vasek, you know, you outlined for me all of the indicators that do not look favorable and they seem to be pretty strong in regards to his hard commit from uh, several months ago uh, now flipping. Yeah, Mark, he he's a guy um, that has been it, it's it's been out there for a while, a couple, two or three weeks. Um, he's taken some visits to Texas. Um, he's been uh, very he was very pro Texas after um, the Red River game um, and then has increasingly been. I think been that way over the last few weeks. So I think it was something that Mark most, and keep in mind, he hasn't made any um, public declarations at this point, but um, as, as you had mentioned, there's um, he has deleted his Instagram video on, um, on his commitment to Oklahoma. He's really kind of removed anything Oklahoma related um, to him, um, you know, for, uh, for the Sooners. So, um, Parker Thune, I think, has and, and um, Steve Wiltfong have both changed their um, commitment prediction, if you will, to uh, from Oklahoma to Texas. So this is a guy, Mark, that I think was a, I mean, it's a hit, no, no doubt about it. Four star guy, one of the better um, edges, you know, in, in the country, top top one hundred. I'm sorry, top two hundred overall um, commitment there really in Austin's, you know, obviously in, in Austin, Texas. So Texas backyard was, was one that I think a lot of people were um, a little surprised that Oklahoma was able to land him at the time that they were just because, you know, he is a, um, he, he's kind of a, he's got Texas in his bloodline, so to speak, not only being in Austin, but he's got family members that have been um, at the university of Texas. So it was a little bit of a, I think a surprise and, and at that point, just a, a big time get uh, for Oklahoma to be able to go into Texas's backyard and, and get him. But I think there's a lot of things that are, that are part of the commitment flip um, or a pending flip to, uh, to potentially to Texas. I mean, a lot of it obviously has to do with the play on the field on, on both sides, right? Oklahoma has, has not um, even remotely lived up to the expectations that most um, that most pundits and fans alike thought of this team. And I think Texas is very much trending in the right direction. Um, you know, at this point, they have, they've lost a few, they've lost a few games, but still um, really really good performance against Kansas State over the weekend, and then they're right in the mix of a of the big 12 um, race here going down the stretch where Oklahoma is not. So um, I think all those, all those things point to the reason why um, the, the pending, what, what looks to be a pending flip from, from Oklahoma to Texas. So based on our conversation again, before we went live and we appreciate everybody being flexible with a different uh, day and time. And we know we kind of sprung this on you, but uh, typically here at uh 11.30 a.m. Central on Wednesday, had to change schedules. That's one of the big reasons why uh, you subscribe and hit the bell for the notifications to know when we go live. But with the VASIC indicators being strong away from Oklahoma into the Texas camp, there are also some other top-line recruits that are showing signs of departing. <laughs> 